So here we are on our pitch for an overnight stay. We are staying at the Caravan and Motorhome Club site at the Will County Park. The site itself is located on the cliffs overlooking the entrance to the D Estuary Wetland Reserve. And the pitch that we've got is at the end of the row and it's just a short stroll through a small wood and at the end of the field there's a fantastic view overlooking the entrance to the Dee Valley Estuary. When he arrived on site, there was the perfect opportunity to practice reversing the base camp. This time, the reversing manoeuvre was slightly more challenging because the club site are very particular about placing your caravan on the white pin, and this is for fire safety reasons. But after a couple of manoeuvres, I soon had the base camp broadly lined up. Once I'd unhitched the base camp, I used the grab handles to make a couple of pulls and finally line the base camp up with the pin. So here we are, all set up on the West Kirby site at Thurston. Here's our pitch. Only here for one night, so I've not put the awning up. And the reason for that is it's going to rain this afternoon. It's going to be dry tomorrow, but we're going to a lake district next week. So I want to keep it dry for then. So I hope I don't live to regret that. So outside of that, the only new addition I've got this time around is I've installed the whale waste system. Uh, sorry, the collapsed waste system for the waste master. I just find that a much neater and cleaner system. And also that pipe there can fit onto the, the, the long waste pipes for service pitches. So yeah, that's all good. Looks like I've just got set up before the rain comes. So that says all set up. I got set up just before the rain came in. I'm absolutely convinced now the minute I think base camp, the weather gods think rain. So we'll wait for this to pass before we head out for our walk. That said, in the meantime, let's go and have a look around this fabulous caravan and motorhome club site. A stone's throw from my pitch are three really nice pitches with uninterrupted views right across the estuary. And that would be the direction that the sun would set to. There's also a play area. So if you've got kids, there's pitches nearby. And there is a sufficient and sparkling clean toilet and facilities block. The pitches themselves are mostly hard standing with electric hookup, but there are no fully serviced pitches. And the reception area is very well kept with the flower boxes. It eventually stops raining and the dog gets to make a new friend. Shortly after, we're on Thurston Beach below the campsite and I find my next dream home. What an incredible view. The dog and I then head in a westerly de direction along the beach towards Park Gate. And after a couple of miles, we come across the sailboats lying on the, on the mud flats waiting for the return of the tide. And my mind soon starts to wonder what an incredible scene for a spooky film or a psychological thriller. After spending some time exploring, the dog and I head back to the campsite, which we can see at the end of the cliffs in a far distance. And our journey's end is the D Sailing Club, which is next door to the campsite. And once again, what an incredible view, even on a grey day.
So we're back at the base camp. Nice view out the window. I've worn the dog out again and it's definitely time for a brew. Nice view out the windows. Later that evening, we take the short stroll to the Thurston Caravan Owners Association Club for a quick pint and a gin and tonic. And we're soon back at our base camp for some Italian food and a bottle of sparkling. Whoa. Diva's proper staring at your last of your dinner <laughs> and your dog. <laughs> <laughs> The next morning we awake to a calm morning. So we take the opportunity to connect our Caddock barbecue to the base camp and cook up some delicious bacon sandwiches. So the plan for the rest of the morning before we have to depart is we're going to head to the Burton Mere wetlands at Neston, which is about a 15 minute drive from where we are here at Thurston. The wetlands are a mosaic of fresh water wetland habitats hosting a wide variety of birds and there are miles of footpaths that you can explore through the wetlands. And after a beautiful morning exploring the wetlands, we're back at the base camp packing up. And for some reason, my wife really enjoys this particular job. Who am I to argue? And with what felt like a blink of an eye, we're pulling off our pitch. But it's amazing what can be packed in in a short 24 hour stay with a bit of planning and a bit of preparation. Another fantastic adventure in the base camp. Thank you for watching.